Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about loops. In our previous tutorial about if-else statement, we have seen that either one part of the code will run or the other part of the code will run depending upon the condition. And But this is only going to run once. Means one of those will run but it will only repeat once. It won't re continue repeating it. So sometimes we come across a scenario where we need to repeat a lot of things. For example, we eat dinner every day. That's 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 a repetition. We if it's a movie is good, we watch it a couple of times. Uh, so these are the repetitions that we do. So in programming our language also, we require these loops. Uh, we require to have repetition. So in Java, we have different different kinds of loops available. There are three different kinds of loop: while loop, then we have a do while loop, and then we have a for loop. They are very similar to each other, but with this small differences, and we'll look into each of them. So, what is a while loop? So, in the while loop, loop is basically until or unless a condition meets, it keeps on continuing inside the loop. Once the condition has met and is no more valid, it comes out of the loop. For example, I have a, I have a, a variable called i, which has a value of one in it. As long as the i is less than five. I want you to go ahead and print the value of i. So I'll say system.out.println i. And then I wanted to do i++. So this is called as a increment operator, which increases the value of i by 1. So it is equals to i is equals to i plus 1. So in this case, let's start. So we started with the value of i is equals to 1. Now the condition it sees is 1 less than 5. Yes, 1 is less than 5. So it will come inside the loop and it will say system.out.println i. Now what is the value of i right now? 1. So what it will be the output? It's going to go ahead and print 1. Now i++. plus plus. Now the new value of i is becomes 2. So there is no more 1 here. 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. So the new value of i is 2. Again, the, it checks for the condition. Is 2 less than 5? Yes, 2 is less than 5. So it enters this loop. System.out.println i. So what is the new value of i? 2. So it goes ahead and print the value of i here. i++. plus plus. Now, it again increments the value of i by 1. So now the new value of i became 3. So it's i is equals to 3. Now it checks the condition again. 3 less than 5. Yes, 3 is less than 5. So it will come inside the loop and it will print the value of i. What is the value of i? 3. So now it goes ahead and print 3. 3 plus plus. Now the new value of i, it becomes 4. Now it checks the condition. 4 less than 5. Yes, 4 is less than 5. So it comes inside and prints the value of i. i is 4. So it will go ahead and print 4 here. 4 plus plus. Now 4 became what? 4 is equal to 4 plus 1. So it became 5 now. Now is 5 less than 5? No, the condition does not meet. 5 is equals to 5. So this condition does not hold good. So it exits out the loop. So this is the while loop example. So here it goes ahead and prints as long as this condition meets. Once the condition stops meeting or it does not meet, it comes out of this loop and exits out. So this is about the while loop. Now let's let's do an example to make it more clear. So do the same example that I showed you here. So we'll call it as while example. Finish. So we'll have a variable called i. So i and i is equals to 1. While i less than 1, i less than 5, print the value of i here, and then i plus plus. So in this case, we have initial value of i is 1. So we have a variable name i. The type of the variable is int. It has a value of 1 in it. Now we are checking the condition. So this is the loop. While the value of i1, i is less than 5, go inside and keep repeating this loop. So this loop starts from here the, with the curly braces and it and ends it here. So everything that comes inside, it's the part of this loop. So if you go ahead and come outside, this out. This does not, anything outside the loop is not the part of the loop. So there is no condition applying on line number 13. The loop starts from line number 8 to line number 12. If you can see, these are the line numbers on the top left, on the, on the left hand side. 
So here we're going to go ahead and say whatever we want to do. Hello. How are you? So this statement is out of the loop. So no matter what the loop is, is going to print or not, it, this statement will always print because this is outside of the loop condition. So there is no condition apply on this statement. So now if we go ahead and run this loop, so it's going to go ahead and print value from 1 to 4. So let's see if we are right. Run as Java application. 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is always good printed because it's outside of the loop. Now let's say the new the value of i is right now 5. Now the value of i is equals to 5 and is 5 less than 5? No, the value of 5 is not less than 5. So in the first case itself the condition does not meet so the while loop will not get executed but this line will still get executed. So this is the while loop. So where if you if you say why 5 is less than 5 the first time itself the condition does not meet. So in this case we go inside it won't go inside the loop and it will just print the line number 13. So if I go ahead and execute this it will just print one line which is hello how are you. So this is about the while loop. Just like we have incremented we can always decrement also. So let's say we have a value of i is equals to 5 and we're checking against is i greater than 1 and then we are doing instead of i plus plus we are doing i minus minus so this is called as a decrement operator it decreases the value of i by 1 every time so here it becomes i minus minus so it decreases the value of i by 1 so let's do how this works so now what we have said is we have initialized the value of i by 5 and the condition is is i greater than 1 if it is, then go ahead and print the value of i here. So this is system.out.println i here and other and then i minus minus means this is equals to i is equals to i minus 1. This is i and this is 1. And then, so now in this case, we initialize the value of i with 1 right now. So is 5 greater than 1? Yes, 5 is greater than 1. So it will come inside the loop and it print the value of i here. So what is the value of i right now? 5. Then it goes ahead and decrements the i by 1. So in this case, i becomes 4 now. Now is 4 greater than 1? Yes, 4 is greater than 1. So it goes inside the loop and checks the condition. So it checks the condition, condition meets, it will say print the value of i. Now what is the value of i? 4 here. So it will go ahead and print 4. 4 minus minus. Now it decreased this value of i by 1. So 4 minus 1, it becomes 3. So the new value of i is 3. Is 3 greater than 1? Yes, 3 is greater than 1. So it comes inside the loop and prints the statement value of i. What is the value of i? 3. 3 minus minus. Now 3 minus minus, it decreases again by 1. So it becomes now 2. Then value of i is 2. Is 2 greater than 1? Yes, 2 is greater than 1. So it go, comes inside and it prints the value of i which is 2. Now 2 minus minus. Now i became what? The new value of i is 1. So is 1 greater than 1? No. This condition does not hold good. So the value of this is not greater than 1. So it will come outside of the loop and that's the, these are the lines that will go ahead and print. So let's see if the output that we are saying is okay. Now the condition number 13 or the line number 13 is out of the loop. So no matter what this will definitely print line number 13. So now let's go ahead and run this application. So we'll run as Java application. So it goes ahead and prints 5432 and hello, how are you? Now, in this case, let's say I changed it and uh, we're saying is 5 less than 5. So in this case, guys, as I already told you, is 5 less than 5 and uh, so this condition does not meet itself and let's say we call it as 10. The value of i is 10. Is 10 less than 5? No. So the while loop won't even go in, won't even get executed because at the first itself the condition does not meet and it'll just print the line number 13. So this is the while loop. The while loop, if the condition does not meet for the first time itself, it won't even get executed. Nothing will get printed in this case only the line number 13 because the while loop does not the condition does not meet so it will not even go inside the loop itself this is about the while loop so in while loop if the condition does not meet the loop will exit out so if i run the program it will only print the line number 13 here 
So it'll just print hello, how are you? Now, the another loop that we have is called as the do while loop. This is called the second type of the loop we have is called the do while loop. Now, in this loop, we do the stuff before and then we check for the condition. So here we check the condition. This is how the do is written. So we do what we're supposed to do and then we check for the condition later. Since we check for the condition later, this loop, even if the condition does not meet for the first time itself, this loop will execute at least once. The only difference between a while loop and a do while loop is, in the while loop, if the condition does not meet, it won't even execute that loop. But in the case of do while loop, even if the condition does not meet, this loop will run at least once. So let's see how we write this. So in this case, how we write is we, we do what we're supposed to do and here at the end we check the condition. So here we have checked the condition and we say do. So we are supposed, we are saying, okay, do this while the condition is this. And then we have a semicolon at the end. So this is how we write the do while loop. So we are doing, we are supposed to print the value of i and then i minus minus. And then we are saying i less than 5. So in this case, this loop should not run even once because if it was a while loop because the our 10 is less than is 10 is not less than 5 but in this case it will run at least once because it's a do while loop so it's if you go ahead and run this program run as java application it's going to print 10 and then hello how are you because the second time it will check for the condition because it will perform what you're supposed to do and then it will check the condition and then the condition does not meet it exits out so in this case if the condition met if i is equals to 1 and 1 is less than 5 and we do 1 plus plus here. Now in this case the condition meets 1, it will start, it will first print the value of i which is 1. Then it increments the value of i by 1 so it becomes 2. Is 2 less than 5? Yes, 2 is less than 5 so it will go inside the loop again. It will print the value of i, i is 2 right now so it will go ahead and execute. The same way the while loop executes. So if you go back here, this is called Java application. So we'll go ahead and say 1, 2, 3, 4, hello, how are you? So I repeat, the only difference between a while and a do while loop is in while loop, if the condition does not meet for the first time, the loop won't even execute. In the case of do while loop, you check the condition later. So even if the condition does not meet for the first time, this loop will execute at least once. So this is about the while and do while loop. In our next tutorial, we will talk about for loop. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.